Awesome, so if you're coming from the first video, then you saw how to input answers here. So I'm gonna finish this off. My answers are now five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that was not supposed to be eight. Let's go undo, it was supposed to be eight in here. Nine and 10. So my picture is all colored in and you learned that in the first video. If that's the video that you're looking for, make sure that you go either through this playlist or go back um, to the YouTube videos on this channel so you can find the first video on how to edit this template or to get this template from. What we wanna learn now is how to change the picture. So let's say you don't want Harry Potter or you already used it and you wanna use it for something else. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into sheet two and we're gonna focus on the pictures here. So what I have here on the side is the number that the picture belongs to. So picture zero belongs to the blank picture, what you want when there are no answers in there. And then picture one belongs to question one, picture two to question two, picture three to question three. So basically when they get number three right, what do you want the picture to look like? When you, they get number four right, what do you want the picture to look like? So you would have had to create this using software um, online or a lot of you use um, Adobe Illustrator. I know that I like using um, an app on the iPad where I can color in by hand, like Procreate. So you can use any of those apps like that for coloring in, or you can find a website that allows you to color in by filling in the tool. And you can see that um, Debbie posted that on the um, Facebook group if you want to see more pages where you can find these from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my Google Drive and I'm gonna download one of the um, one of these that Debbie has created. So Dave, Debbie created quite a few of them so we can use for this purpose. Um, you can see that I have quite a few of them in my previous. So I'm gonna go over to the coloring pages that we share um, with the admin team. And I'm just gonna download, let's, to the dragon. So this is a dragon that you can find on the other pick on the other um, template. So I'm going to ch um, change Harry Potter into this dragon and you're going to see how easy that is. So the first thing that you want to do, you likely don't have these saved on your drive. You're going to have to go create them. So I would save them easily in a place where you can find them. <laughs> so like my, I'm going to save them into my desktop. So right now it's downloading gonna take a little bit I wonder if I have one saved already so this could be easy I should I think I have some in my trash <laughs> because I just got done deleting all these let's do that one okay so I actually think that one is the dragon that I had downloaded earlier okay so I have them saved in a file in a folder that is easy to find okay so that's the most important part is that you have them easy to find and now all I have to do is every one of these, I have to change them. So I'm gonna go to zero and I want the new blank picture that I want. So I'm gonna go to insert, image, image in cell, and you can either drag and drop from that file or you can browse to it. So I'm gonna browse over to that folder. I already forgot what it was called. And uh, this, I'm sure this happens to everyone, is this drive one. <laughs> and I want the, my first picture, that picture zero, to be the blank one. Notice my naming scheme, right? So we did name all of these in order, so then I don't mess that up as I'm going through them. I suggest you do the same when you're saving your picture progression, so then you know where they go. So dragon, dragon blank is gonna be the first one. Google Sheets is smart enough to remember which folder you went to last. So now when I go and I edit my first picture, I just have to go to insert, image, image in cell, hit browse, and now it's I'm on that folder already. So dragon one, and there's my first picture of the dragon. I'm gonna go now to two and do the same thing. Insert, image, image in cell, browse, and now I want number two. And number two is done. So now I'm gonna scroll down to three, do the same thing. Insert, image, image in cell, browse, and I want number three. And now number three is done. So now I want question number four. Insert, image, image in cell, browse, 
I'm going to go to number four. And now number four is done. So now I just want to show before I finish, because you can definitely finish this on your own. I'm going to go over to sheet one and I'm going to show you how, well, up to 10, right? My last picture, my 10th picture is still Harry Potter. So I'm going to erase these. because I stopped at four, which is the ones that we edited. So here is my dragon picture. So I didn't have to change anything else, right? That's it. If you wanted to, if you are copying this from a template that you already edited and not my template, then you just have to go back here and at least you have the problem numbers. You can put in the new answers that you want. So let's say you don't want this to be 79% anymore because you're doing a different lesson and you need this now to be the word and. So when you go back here, you just have to make sure that this is changed to and, and now it works. Okay, so this is what this one looks like to begin with. So let's do a couple more before I end this video. Again, well, I'm gonna start off with five now. So the way that we do this, we go to insert, image, image from cell, and I wanna include that fifth one now there it goes for number six insert image image from cell insert number six and that is it this was a six minute video i could have if i would have talked a little less i could have finished that whole thing adding those pictures in there definitely in six minutes so you go from one activity to a brand new activity and probably 15 minutes if you have the picture done and the worksheet that you want to um, grab the problems from. I hope you found this video useful. And the third video coming up, I'm gonna show you how to hide the sheets and the answers before you share with your students. See you then.